The level three pandemic restrictions have spelled trouble for many businesses in the food and drink sector. Across Taipei, established restaurants are folding under the financial strain caused by a ban on dining in. For Mosa News, reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. Taipei's Yongkang Street used to be bustling with tourists and locals out enjoying its diverse food scene. But the start of Level 3 restrictions in May dealt a hard blow to the area, forcing several restaurants to close. Over here on Yongkang Street, at least six stores have closed since June. One of them is this Greek restaurant called Greekgo, which has been operating here for 30 years. Six businesses in the Dongmen Yongkang Business District closed in June, and I've heard that one or two more will close by the end of the month. The biggest problem is there are no customers. In May, the number of visitors dropped by nearly half compared to April, down to just 370,000 people. Stores are selling frozen meals and takeout lunch boxes. Stores that did not make bento in the past are now making bento boxes. They're making changes. At the association, we're also helping members apply for government subsidies and loans. Elsewhere in Taipei, the award-winning number one food theater has also had to close up shop. The number one food theater is the first granary to be repurposed as a restaurant. However, due to the pandemic, the restaurant closed on June 25th. The number one food theater was a unique feature of Taipei's fine dining scene. Housed in a granary built in the 1940s, the restaurant ran an organic produce shop on the side. The establishment was recognized for its cuisine by the Michelin Guide, obtaining bid gourmand status in 2018 and 2019. On its last day of operations, many patrons turned up to bid the restaurant farewell. I happened to live nearby, and when I found out that it was going to close, I was very sad. Since only takeout is available during the pandemic, my family and I would come here to buy a bento box. We love the food here. I look forward to seeing how this space will be developed and managed in the future. Taiwan's ban on dining in has left many restaurants in a bind, as their only income is takeout and delivery sales. Many eateries have suspended operations, while some have closed the doors permanently. As uncertainties hang on the horizon, the restaurant industry is saying goodbye to some of its brightest luminaries. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Lu Botong in Taipei.